Now what's funny, I'm not even mentioning any names except Black Kings or Afam Kings. They said, you can have them, we don't care, they're just an old toy. And I was like, okay, that's not a problem because we Filipina value old toys. And now that I'm trying to help all these Afam Kings and Black Kings, it's still a problem. They're laughing and bashing at me for trying to help quality men to marry a Filipina. They said they don't care, but they're still talking about it. Are you sure you don't care or are you just afraid of losing good men in the Western world? Is that all your hair? My natural hair. Just got out of the water. And that's what she looks like. Follow Ola. Ola. Life is a competition thing all the, way, all the way. I can't take it no more. They feel propped up because they feel more beholden to the government. And then their man comes second. That's why they figure that they're strong, independent, don't need no man because they have the government. Because the men are failing us, to be honest. Guys thinking about themselves and they'll think about you after you react. You don't hear anything about being good wives and all the other stuff. What you hear is you're strong and you're independent. You can do it on your own. You got black girl magic, black girl. All right, Spill Like Pack, welcome back one more time. I got a good one for you. So what they've been talking about is these passport brothers and, uh, you know, the brothers, this and that. I don't even consider it a major thing, you know, just getting out of the country. But there's definitely quality all over. I just got some notes, what I got from this right here. One brother said, if you go to Rio, you will fly back home and you will be thinking in your mind, how can you get rid of your American black woman? And so what they've been saying is, this is the competition. Now, a lot of brothers, they with their wives, or they looking, they left and right. I didn't seen stories of guys who went to Brazil uh, and never came back. Now, they were talking about Essence, wrote these articles. But you see the main women talking are the fat, lonely ones, don't like their relationship, or it's a competition. Nobody bashing these sisters. These sisters put this out, and they bash themselves. And now they looking with the glue, the weave, the nasty attitude. And men can't take it. The men who with these women, clowning them in public, overweight and you shame, cheating on the low. I mean, why you go through all that? Get your passport stamp, get out the country, and your blood pressure will be in your feet like mine. Because you can get quality women without all that junk. And look, but I got a funny video for you at the end. This sister I ran into who's snatching women wigs and weaves, and it's hilarious that, that, you know, that's just funny. You know, I always got something good for you at the end. But look at this, the difference of black women at a club, and look how much weight they, that, that is. They put need to put that yellow tape and that uh, yellow light up for heavy load. And then look at the women at clubs in Colombia, Brazil, you know, other places out of America, low cholesterol clubs. If they do a cholesterol count in some of these black clubs, the machine may break with these sisters coming in there. You don't see these sisters wearing big heels either. That meat coming off the side. But like I say, don't, don't say it's on me. Look at the stats. Look at what's going on. We're not bashing them. I got the clips in here. But watch these brothers. And for you brothers that never left the country, man, that's on you. Man, you, you have nothing to tell your children if you got children or if you don't, you really have no experience, man. The world is beyond the shores of America. But hey, some people, man, you, 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 you don't need women. You, you don't need women. And then you look at who they with and they settling for a nasty attitude, woman with a booger mole on her face, and they saying she hot. Man, you can go overseas and get a woman that's relaxed and calm. That women, yes, they going to debate you, argue, but they not going to clown you in public. Hey, y'all brothers keep fighting the fight. It's Black History Month. Y'all fight that fight. I'm going to just look at y'all with a good looking one. Y'all with an ugly one trying to uh, duct tape that relationship together. Hey, look at the clips. Let's have fun out here. Women are, women are noticing that their men are crossing the borders to find happiness, romance, or even just somebody to have a good time and hang out with. I come to Brazil, I sit down at the table, I order food. Young lady places a drink in front of me, opens my straw, puts it in my glass, and I'm chilling. Doesn't make her less of a woman, doesn't make me more of a man. It's just that we have different roles in life, and she knows hers, and I know mine. Several years ago, I read an article uh, from Essence Magazine in regards to African-American men going to Brazil.
number of articles since that since uh, story. The article was not pleasant at all. It was quite negative. The, the article is racially motivated. And to me, it's just another attack on, on, on the black man. I feel uh, in conversating with other guys who have friends you here, you should come here and experience um, what she has to offer Brazil. People that write the article say that they don't understand why we come to this place or any other place of bias because they've never experienced it. Every black man should come down one time before you be put in this earth to see how this culture treats you. It's, it's heaven. You don't want to come down to real, I said, because if you do, you're going to come back thinking, how can I get rid of her? You know, and I just, I said, that's, <laughs> I, I can't put it to you. I said, if you marry and you, you, you love your wife and you're satisfied, I said, don't come here. You are looking for cheap sex with pretty girls. It, I think to a certain extent, you're almost like a predator. They are nothing but lies, and they should not have been accepted by the black women. That article is to bridge the gap between you, and that's the reason that article came by. It's not an issue. It's a... All right, y'all. I think we got us one. I think we got us one. Y'all ready? Here we go. Here we go. Hey, I like your wig. Thank you. Oh! Thank you. Oh! Thank you. Oh, my baby. Okay, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. 